in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can make this super simple and a very cool real-time lighting system which makes the lighting inside of your server match any time zone in the world you want. So I've configured this server to set the time to be live with the UK and as you can see here, the clock time is set to 4.03 and if we head over to my time zone checker, you can see it is currently 4.02. So we head back and as you can see it's currently 402 on my system here which i think is a super cool system if you want to have a real time clock inside of your game now before we get started my throat is a little sore so if i sound a bit funny i'm very sorry my bad but yeah let's get started and head right into the tutorial okay so luckily this script is nice and simple easy to follow only about 10 lines and to get started, we can define the lighting service, okay? So let's do this by saying local, oopsies, local, ah, local lighting equals game get service and then get service and then lighting. And basically what this service does is it's responsible for all the lighting inside of the game, okay? So I can make things different colors in here. I'm not going to do that. You can just mess around with all the colors in here and change everything through the lighting service, okay? And specifically what we're going to be doing here is setting the time of day, okay? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to fetch the time and then we're going to have to convert it to our time zone. So let's focus on that. And obviously we want our time to update around every minute, okay? So we can do while wait 60, do, and while we wait, so every 60 seconds we're going to run this and then we're going to wait 60 seconds. We're going to say local date equals... Well, let's just say local time equals and then date time dot now and then we're going to say colon to universal time okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to get the date time so date time dot now and then we're going to convert it to universal time which is also known as utc okay so that's universal time and that's effectively the middle of the world time if you want to call it that and then we're going to create a variable and we're going to call this local time zone difference equals and then let's just set it to zero for now. okay so this is probably the most confusing part of the tutorial but if you follow along and pay attention it'll be super simple okay so what you're going to do is head to this super handy website i should have it linked down below in the description and then once you're here what you're going to do is you're going to add your location so mine is london and it's 4 7 pm right now and then you can also add another place. So let's say we add universal, okay? So it's essential to add UTC time, okay? UTC. So you have to add UTC here, okay? So it doesn't matter whether you live in London or maybe somewhere in America, just make sure you have UTC, okay? And now let's say I wanted my time zone to be in the UK, okay? i would search for London, i would click on add, and you can see they both have the exact same time, okay? So if we head over to our script, the time zone difference should be zero, okay? So this means that our script will be configured to run in the time zone of the UK, okay? But let's say you're in America, so I'm just going to remove this. Let's say we're inside of New York, okay? We're going to add New York. Okay, here it is. No, let's just do Brooklyn. And as you can see, there's quite a big difference here, okay? So there is a five hour difference. And as you can see, it's minus five hour difference, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to put five here, okay, because we're five hours behind, all right? Now that does sound a bit weird that we don't put the minus there, but it kind of makes sense. And then finally, let's say we were ahead. So let's say we were in Germany, okay? And as we can see, the time is five inside of Berlin. And because we're going to do it in a bit of a mathematical way, we need to put a minus if it's ahead, okay? So if you're plus anything, you need to put a minus. And if you're behind, you just have to put the number, okay? So let's say we're in Berlin and we're just going to say minus one because we're one hours ahead, okay? So I hope that's nice and clear. And now we can continue on with some logic, okay? So we're going to do a bit of maths and a little bit of string interpolation, okay? So let's create a new variable called generated time. Generated time equals, and then we're going to put these two little speech marks like this. They're next to the one if you're on a UK keyboard. I have no idea where they are on the American keyboard, but I'll show you a picture of it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say squiggly brackets, and we're going to close it. And then we're going to say time in here. Then we're going to use our square brackets and then here we're going to put an hour now what we need to do is really important we say minus and then time zone difference then we're going to put the colon 
Then we're going to make these squiggly brackets again with the opening and closing one. And then we're just going to say time. And then we're going to say colon and then, no, not colon. We're going to say square brackets and then minutes. And then we're going to always presume the second is zero for convenience. Then we're going to say colon zero. And then finally what we need to do is we have our time defined here. So if we print this out now, it would say, for example, 507 colon zero. And then we're going to say lighting dot time of day equals and then we're going to say generate it time okay and now this should work so it does take a minute to immediately start working so if we wanted this to work as soon as the server starts we could wrap this in a function but for simplicity i'm just going to keep it inside of this while wait loop and now if we join the game and wait 60 seconds it should update every minute to the time inside of berlin so let's just fast forward and give it 60 seconds here Okay, and you can see the time just updated here to 5, ooh, 5.11, which is one hour ahead of uh, UTC, which is in Berlin, Germany. And I think this is a super cool system to have, okay? So if you have any questions about this, feel free to join our Discord down below. Yes, that was a little bit confusing with the time zones, but I hope you found this tutorial useful. That is all from me, and bye bye